Okay, Opal All Rod Injure Engine Assessment. Can't read it. Needs to be cleaned off. Tachometer, water gauge. <clears throat> Back of the speedo over there on the left. And then on the right, we have uh, the oil pressure and the fuel. So here is basically how I bought it 15 years ago. Okay, so I have one complete carp. Of course, that will need to be rebuilt. But I like because uh, all the hardware is on it, although this is not original. Somebody jerry-rigged uh, this throttle cable. should drop down and go through the floor. Uh, air filter, not original. Maybe original Opal, maybe the standard, but not for the all rod. The all rod, since the engine's higher, uh, cuts across to the other side with a pipe over, like, over yonder fan looks like uh generator's good steering inner fender well is good again Ron cabin on here so I don't know what to do maybe I can partially utilize this have a body shop modify it, but it looks like this can be saved. I'm not sure if that's, uh, doesn't look correct either, but it can be used, I believed. So yeah, hood's good. Grill's okay too. Grill has got some slats bent and missing, but I have those. Good thing I got a bumper. Yes, it's messed up, but it's the only one I have. Use that for a model to fashion other ones. So, sideboards, very nice. These will be taken off and put onto the standard. This is going to get the armored body, hopefully someday. And here is the gas tank. The gas tank would, other than this crack, appears to be pretty good. So I'll probably use that. Here's another PTO that I don't need. Okay, so here's the brakes I got, pedals, all the linkages, all good stuff, brake hoses, brake pedals, starter pedal, <clears throat> all-wheel dry and gauge lever. This dash I was hoping to get off today. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay. Not sure if that's a wartime gauge or not. Here's the front, the face. And I forgot, but this has a glove compartment. How nice. Floor's pretty good. The firewall's pretty good. The side sheet metal is a little rotted, to be expected. So, looks like it took a hit here. Drove into something. Looks like there's some shoddy repairs. But that's something a body man, or if I had time, I could do myself. But I don't. But what I do have is this new piece here. That fits between uh, the fender uh and the hood. I got a new one of those. That's straight. That's straight. So between those two pieces and some nice fenders, I think we're going to be okay. While I'm back here, let's take a look at the rear of the 38T. There's the back side of the traversing mechanism. 
So I had most of these pieces bought for the back in Russia. Good luck on ever seeing those. But it's a ways off till I get to here. So here's the inside. I just got to somehow chip away. So here is the firewall for one of the standards. Yeah, there's some rust. Yeah, some chunks are missing, but most of it's there. Most of this can be fixed by a good body man. So that would be considered the second firewall. Almost looks like shrapnel on that one. Oh, that'd be cool if I could prove that. So this far wall, I think, will will restore nicely. Battery tray is good. Up above, I'm not sure if you can see it, is the firewall for the third Opal Blitz. About the same condition. And okay, so there we go. Another view of the 38T. Uh, the Opal Blitz, and I might try to fidget and see if I can get this dash out of here today. Let's see. I got the other two being restored. If I can get all three, that would be cool. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you like. Uh, hey, in closing, I just noticed. Check this out. I don't know if you can see that. Adam Opal. This looks like to be the original tag. Uh, Bao Yauer, I'm not sure how you pronounce that in German, but loosely translates to year it was born. And I can see it, 1942. So that's cool. That's cool. The genuine article. Thanks, guys.